It is situated in a serene location on the bay side of Ocean City. It's gorgeous. But Stephen Cinebaldi and others who have units at the Ocean Air Condominiums will tell you. On a bad tide, I'd be standing in water right here. They also face a flood of worries. It's up to the wind is sometimes. That's become more and more frequent. It used to be twice or three times a year, but now anymore it's probably once or twice in a month. To reduce the risk of property damage from high water and cut down on flood insurance costs, this entire complex of 52 units in seven buildings is set to rise, literally. So we're going to raise one building at a time. Monmouth County based WA Building Movers and Contractors is the company that will elevate the complex, likely starting in November. The process will involve a temporary steel shoring and hydraulic jacks, similar to how they lifted this six unit townhouse in Cherry Hill a few years ago. It's a big undertaking because it's all one city block and the buildings are a little closer together, so it takes a little more maneuvering time to get the steel under the structures. I'm told during Hurricane Sandy, the water came up about four feet high. When this project is finished, the base of the building's foundations will be seven feet higher than they are right now. It's going to be an absolute relief to the residents here at Ocean Air. Part of an $8 million federal grant making it possible. The money also being used to raise flood prone homes in Essex County. More and more money is going to have to be spent on projects just like this. Not just here in Ocean City, but as sea level continues to rise, you know, it's going to become more and more of an issue. This project expected to take about four months to complete, lowering anxiety by having buildings go up. Ted Greenberg, NBC 10 News.